welcome to In Podcast. We got two guests here today. Uh, we got Nightfall from both sides of the fence. We got Honcho Kwan from both sides of the fence. And today we're just going to sit here and uh, talk to them a little bit about what they do and, you know, how they come up with their inspiration and stuff for that, like that. So, uh, let's just start with y'all. Just talk about yourself a little bit. And I go by the name of Nightfall, man. Uh, originated from Chicago. You know what I'm saying, but came to Minnesota doing my music shit up here. Uh, I'm cursing, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much doing the same shit up here like everybody else trying to grind. Get this shit established, man. I got a little name. Uh, made my own little label. Got that established. Trying to take off from there. One of my artists, Honcho. Let me tell you about himself. Oh, shit, I'm Honcho. I'm from Minnesota. Uh, I've been rapping for about two years now. Pretty much just trying to grind and take off. Team on. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, like, when you first start doing music, like, um, like, how you get into it? Like, what was like your your first like, you know, with, like, I want to do music type stuff? Like, what was the first thing for you? Man, like, was the real shit. I ain't gonna lie. He made me start rapping. Yeah, can I say the same for you? Like, what was your your first take on? <laughs> let me, you know, let me get down on this. No. And shit, this shit go back from back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it kind of picked me up, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really into that. I was doing other shit in my life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I saw my brothers and them trying to rap, you know what I'm saying? And they kind of encouraged me to take my little baby steps to do it, you know what I'm saying? Around like, I want to say 18, 19, that's when I started really taking it serious, started battle rapping, you know what I'm saying? After battle rapping, started really writing music. And, trying to become better at it, you know what I'm saying? I'm 29 now, so I'm way better at my craft than then, but, you know, definitely those are my baby steps back then, getting into it. I hear you, I hear you. So, uh, like, what's uh, one of y'all main inspirations behind y'all music that y'all create today in this in this day? Like, what's uh, All my kids, of course, you know what I'm saying? God, you know what I'm saying? And family, family, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's most family. important. Uh, and other family. than that, you know what I'm saying, just the grind alone, you know what I'm saying? It's a struggle trying to do this shit, you know what I'm saying? It's a big big influence on the city and what we trying to do, you know what I'm saying, so. Yeah. Steph. So, um, y'all got any little sneak peeks or little EPs that y'all got going on that, that, that nobody know about right yeah, now? Yeah, man, <laughs> right, now, uh, right now I'm rocking with the You Know It label, man. If y'all know them, y'all gonna fuck with them, man. Go to youknowit.com. Y'all can uh, find us on there. You got me on there. So a whole bunch of other artists on there. Shout out my nigga Suavo, Dodie, you know what I'm saying, Problem Scale Gang, everybody, you know what I'm saying, we all out there doing the thing. Yeah. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff coming, man. Uh, my nigga Swabo just dropped a video. I got a video uh, called The Grave that's on the way. Um, after that, we got a couple more videos on the way. You know, we just came back from Vegas, a whole bunch of different places, doing a whole bunch of different things, moving around. So it's definitely on some some bigger shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out my nigga Pablo, man. Get yes, those. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Definitely shout out. Okay, okay. So uh, how would you do? How would you describe your music like that you typically make? Like what? Like what is the I like, uh, I like, message behind like, it. see me, like, I grew up listening to, like, you know, I mean, like, obviously the old school music, but, like, nowadays, I like, I fuck with the Migos and shit like that, so me, I kind of, like, base my flavor off the Migos a little bit, maybe a little bit of Drake, I do a little bit of everything, you know what I'm saying, and I try to rap on different shit, you know what I'm saying, not just stick to one topic, I make music, you know what I'm saying, that's for their ears and for motherfuckers to replay, you know what I'm saying, so, that's what I like to do. Let me hear what you, like, your typical music, like what's your, um, your way? My, your, my music your, pretty much like family, you know, turn up. Uh, mostly family music, you know, shit that I've been through in these streets, street music, real, real music you feel, you know. Real music you feel, so um, I'm gonna go more into that. So like everything that you, like every song that you just made, uh, could you say like got a message behind that or like, or like you, uh, like, yeah. Giving somebody, giving somebody else a, a taste of your personal life and your feed that you got going on. Definitely, like that gotta be oh, mandatory when you're making music. I feel like if you ain't living, living your truth and your music, it, what you making it for anyway? Like it's cool yeah, that you, what you, you, do, you can make music, but you know I don't like to just make music. I'm trying to, I'm trying to really do something with it behind it. You know what I mean? I hear Take you. it to another level with it. What's that creative process like for both of y'all? All right, for me, like, I mean, in the beginning, of course, it's a struggle, a long struggle, but, like, I used to, I used to, like I said, I used to write so much to the point where I got tired of writing, and I was like, I, I'm ready to just start punching in, you know, I started punching in, once I got hang, with the hang of that, I ain't been writing for, like, the past four or five years now, I, I made beats, all that shit, you know what I'm saying, I, I studied the whole crap, I mix and master my own music, 
You know what I'm saying? Now I go to uh, JTC. Shout out JTC on them beats. You know what I'm saying? He cold with it. Y'all fuck with him too. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm just really now sticking to the to the craft and the, the basics of the rap. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got to do everything like I used to. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, so you always looking to for the next move on, on this music process? Of course. Big are time. You, are you looking to collaborate with a couple of with some different artists outside your group? Are you ready to expand? On oh, that definitely. Uh, Nemic right? Revenue. That's who I really want <laughs> to collab with. Yeah. She dope as hell. Uh, shout out Nemic Revenue. She yeah. doing her thing. Um, it's a couple other more artists, but I, I kind of forgot they, uh, their names and shit right now. But Nemic Revenue, definitely one of them. You know what I'm saying? That's from this city. You know what I'm saying? The state of Minnesota, too. So she dope as hell. She doing, she doing big shit. Uh, let me let me know about you. Like any artists that you got that you want to collab with, that you want to step out your comfort zone and get put, you know, out there. Like is there any artists that you know of, you see, you hear? You yeah, know? I mean, shit. I fuck with John Ray music a little bit. I definitely collab. We've been actually, I've been talking to John Ray. Me and him actually been talking about collabing a little bit on some music. Uh, but I got a couple artists that is, you know. Right now, I'm just pretty much sticking to me right now, trying to. Get me out there right now. I'm really trying to work on my own singles. So you working on your yo uh yo I hear Nightfall saying he got multiple songs, so you working got, on yo, you working on yo, yo branch of songs. That, that, that my branch of songs right now. Like I got a decent amount of songs right now, but you know, it's, it's still what's, more what's, songs that need What's your best song got that you that you know of right now? Uh, what song my you best song? The song you tell people go check out right now. Bands, definitely go check out bands. Uh Check out Leave if you want to. That's, that's a good song. Bands, look, you got a whole video. Yeah, to bands is a whole. That out. Yeah, dope. definitely check Bro out. Bro, in that video, too. Definitely Come check out the video, like man. You know, shout out to everybody that's in the video. You know, yeah, he shout out, you know, uh-huh. Greg, Marcus that's in the video. But, uh, yeah, that's the number one. That's, a, that's the number one video y'all can definitely go check out. So let me know uh, artists that y'all open up for, that y'all feel like y'all really want to open up for, like on a, on another standpoint, like who y'all. I mean, it ain't to me. It ain't one single artist that I really want to open up for. I mean, I'll open up for whoever, you know, if they talking the right price, you know what I'm saying. But, or if I'm getting that, that's my way in the dope, you know what I'm saying. But uh-huh. at the end of the day, I would rather be, you know, doing my own little shit, you know what I'm saying. And if I can't open up for any artist that's dope, I mean, I don't open up for Migos, Dog, you know what I'm saying. Did a couple Wayne shows, type of shit. You know, we used to do the South by Southwest, but they just canceled it obviously because of the Corona shit. But other than that, definitely, we still trying to travel out and do a whole bunch of shit, man. Regardless of that. Okay, okay. So, uh, let me just make this more public. You know, you said something about that Corona. How y'all feel about that? <laughs> let, me, let me get some, some input on that. I know. Look, look I got, I got my mask. He got, look, he got to wear it. He got his mask. I'm wearing it as well, bro. Y'all the guys. I know y'all ain't got that shit. I got my little thing about it. I definitely was gonna bring my shit in here. You know what I'm saying? But so, I ain't fucking with that. What's the best way y'all feel to keep safe from that? And just stay clean, man. Wash your hands, man. Stay clean, man. Stay away from my fucking sneeze. Get coffee. Watch what you gonna do if somebody sneeze by you anywhere? You gonna walk away and tell them motherfuckers, you know, I ain't standing by you, you know what I'm saying? You sneeze uh, and all that shit, I'm, I'm going in the house. So, um, next, I mean, just, it's, it's, the, it's the both sides, like, can you explain that both? Like, what's, what's both sides? Like, what's, Both sides, it, uh, it came from, uh, it was like, it was like 10 of us when we started the group. Um, we pretty much came up with it, like, I came up with it rapping, you know, I, I was like rapping some shit, and I said both sides of the fence, everybody was like, ooh, that could be a label name, you know what I'm saying, so I kind of like, thought of ways where it was disrespectful in ways where it made sense, you know what I'm saying, so I was thinking about only money when I thought about it, like both sides of the fence, it's only two ways to eat, legal or illegal, tell me a third, you feel what I'm saying, it's only two ways to eat, and that's how I was grinding, I know niggas who trap, I know niggas who work, you know what I'm saying, but niggas making money, so that's why I came up with the both sides of the fence part, you know what I'm saying, so. And then with the Get Dough now, like I said, I'm with I'm with another label right now with a distribution deal going on where you know it and get dope. So I'm representing these brands as well right now. Okay, so is there any further so that both sides taking off on this? Oh, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> you know, so. A step at a time right now. You feel me? At, at the end of the day, like I said, we, we coming, man. Just know it. We you on the motherfucking way, man. So uh I don't really got no more questions, but now I'm just going off the head, mixing up these little, you know. Uh so um, I want to say, like, I want to say any artist, but, like, who y'all, who's the, who's, who got the best music out to y'all right now? Considering that y'all rap, do. No. <laughs> considering that y'all rap, I want to say, say y'all music, but, like, who got the, you know, who, who, you know it. who, no, motiv- who motivates y'all each day, you know, when y'all not playing yourself or y'all here playing the, the group, or the, you know? Like, 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 for me, like I say, I listen to a lot of Migos. I like the Migos. I fuck with Offset Heavy. I listen uh, to Lala, baby. I mean, 
Gunna. 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 Say some, let me I get some input from you. Gunna. But I like old school music heavy though too. Like that's all my shit. I still think that old school. That's two pocket all that. Thousands. That's, that's the main shit. You know where the lyrics yeah. come from. But if I want some hype shit, I'm listening to today's music all day. You know the 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 FBG ducks and all them niggas and shit. Uh, can I get some input from my my behind the scenes? Uh, you know, both sides of the fence. Uh, uh, just just coming up right now. We heard we heard. Thank, thank y'all. For, thank y'all for coming out. Uh, and coming and mess with us and coming our in our area. You know, some some out y'all habitat. You feel me? I'm trying to write out to say. Uh, what's that? That's what advice you got for other other youngins that's trying to come up and that's to listen to y'all music. Shit, uh, all I can say is really just, you know, just follow your dreams, stay persistent, stay persistent, excuse me, you know what I'm saying, stay, stay, stay relevant, you know what I'm saying, stay, keep trying to do something new, don't stay on the, the same tip like everybody else, you're gonna be stuck yeah, in that bucket, fine, you know, fine. keep, keep performing, find something that you can make better of, stay around people that's positive and gonna push your music, you know what I'm saying, and, and really gonna be something that's useful to, for you and your future, you know what I'm saying, everything else gonna be oblivious after that, you know what I mean, so just stay true to your game and you're good. I appreciate it. How about you, Hunter? What's one piece of advice you got to a young, you know, your little brother? One piece you could let, maybe you want to start coming up with a project. Some, some of you just get to our generation that, like, to keep, some, keep, keep us going. You feel me? Yeah. Something that's keeping you going and keep you going for a couple years, man. Come on, yeah, let's go, son. All I can say is perform, work hard, and just put your mind to what you want. Like, ain't nothing impossible. You know? Just you can do whatever you want to do. That's honestly. Okay, okay. I got a couple questions. How many songs y'all got? And what's, Oh, I can't. Even, I can't even count the songs I got, bro. I did ask. Can't well, even count. That's too hard. Uh, hey, but hey, but, hey, but hey, if you want, hey, if you want, if you want some of the video links, you can go on YouTube right now. Type in oh, Nightfall yeah. X Problem and Way Bigger. That's the song that's out there. Uh, shot by Minnesota Code. Shot by Minnesota Code. Uh, I got another song called Never Had. Shot with a few people in it. Uh, like I said, he got the bands. I got uh, right here. I got a whole bunch. Of, I can get on a plethora of videos, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I got, matter of fact, I got a brand new song that I definitely want y'all to hear too, man. That shit banging too. I definitely want y'all to fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all fuck with that. Um, so, really, uh, is there any way that anybody can get in contact with y'all? How, how we get in contact with y'all? You know, man, y'all. you can find me on Facebook, Hunt Your Corn, Instagram, Hunt Your Corn. Like All you really gotta do is just go to the link, man. You know it.com. You Pretty get up with everybody from there. That's you know the direct it. link. You know it.com. It's just like U K N O I T dot com. Easy. Hey y'all. Um, we gonna tune out. Uh, thanks for tuning in this week with Ends Podcast. We are gonna say thank you to Hancho Kwan and Nightfall for stepping in, the, stepping in and getting the interview done today. Uh, you know, eating in the streets. Huh? Tune out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.